It's Ketchup Packet! Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Nate and Sean watch the first episode of The Expanse over and over again. <laughs> uh, we had some technical difficulties watching this episode. We're watching The Expanse today. And uh, we watched it already once. And uh, half a time before that, too. Yeah. And had some recording difficulties each time. So we're going to watch it again. So we can provide a first episode version for you guys. But we did see this first one already. Generally in the show, we will have not seen it before but you know we tried to do that and it didn't work so it's, we're gonna watch we're, it anyway it's early in the yeah. channel you know mistakes will happen and uh we're gonna we're gonna get go oh that's the wrong button we're gonna get going here and watch the expanse again and re-comment i mean uh, it, it sounds i'm not trying to okay it's still gonna be good yeah. we got a good episode <laughs> it's, gonna be, it's gonna be great so far off to a good start <laughs> all right no, look, there's even a button labeled start over. They're trying to humiliate us. <laughs> and the planets align. It's a pretty epic title sequence, yeah. I must say. How do you protect air? You put it in tanks and protect yeah, the tanks. I suppose, yeah. It's just a gas. <laughs> We have our stranded lady. She looks like Chell from Portal. Yeah, in Portal she was wearing an orange jumpsuit, right? Yeah. I think so. I think you have like a like, like a white like tank top t shirt. And, oh, yeah, and then yeah. a orange, orange jumpsuit pants, that's yeah. like tighter on your waist. So do we think that's CGI hair or underwater hair? I'm looking at it and I'm thinking CGI, but it's pretty well done. I also like the water droplets floating around, that's cool. I don't think that much water is going to help you. Have you seen Passengers? No. It's an outer space movie. Generally not very well received, I believe, but I like it. I'm a passenger's apologist. <laughs> That's not good. No, it's never a good sign. Bloody handprints. That's never when the party got really good. <laughs> I know, Angus. You're right, Angus, we did see this one already. It looks like the blue is, like, infecting the core of the ship or something like that. It makes me think of Biotics from Mass Effect. Oh, yeah. Biotic power. Yeah. It's the same color. We talked about last time that Ceres is one of the objects that made it so Pluto can't be a planet anymore. Oh, yeah. Because if Pluto is a planet, then so is Ceres. You can't just keep adding planets, man. No. Otherwise, they're not even special anymore. Well, it is, what are we? It's just obviously not the right answer that it's a planet if it's in the asteroid belt, you know? There's yeah. tons of debris in that orbit, so it's like... But that's also true of the, the Kuiper belt, where Pluto is. Looks like just like a, a regular modern modern drone with like a cool camera on it. Yeah. We're entering the future as we speak. Traitor to my people. I don't think I'm worried 
Tom Jane. I don't come to this show as a huge Tom Jane fan, so he's gonna have to win me over. This feels like a scene out of cyberpunk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at his hand. The dead guy? Yeah. Yeah, because he's a belter. Oh, yeah. And they're all weirdly proportioned because of the low gravity. It also reminds me of a scene in Detroit Become Belter. Human. Did you play that? No, I didn't. But That's a good game. Yeah. I've heard. What about you? What about me? What's your tell? Let me help you with that, Angelo Rath. This one. Yes, spurs at the top of his spine where the bones didn't fuse right. He got that cheap bone density juice when he was a child. Probably a ward of the station. So even if he disguises himself, he's just like me. We have nothing like you, Longbone. Take your OPA bullshit back to the Medina. I wonder if we're gonna hear that slur again. Longbone? Yeah. Lunch break's over. Isn't that the kind of transportation Elon Musk is trying to make in Vegas right now? Viscerally failing at it? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I trust you change those air filters, right? For compliance, Misasa. Good, good. Now arriving, Midtown Level, the Bay of Prison Station. Exit for Star Helix Police and Emergency Services. Stop grinning like an idiot and give me your real name. I promise you things will not go well for you if you do not. Oh, Jesus. You get her. Oh. Hey! I'm fine, you! I'm fine, you! Any laws against beating up suspects? No laws in series. Just cops. I have something for you. New contract. Just you. They're Luna based. They do a lot of shipping through here. And they misplaced a daughter. Black sheep. Went to college, got involved with a group called the Far Horizons Foundation. Students. Big ideas and big mouths. Even future phones have easily crackable screens. Yeah. My pleasure. I don't see how having a PC through is an improvement. It yeah. Like that's a step down. <laughs> Glare is bad enough. Yeah. And you know the screen is the only thing that they wouldn't cover on the and the insurance that you buy, just like now this. Yeah. Dude's about to get his hand smashed. Removed. Space dock workers. I suppose all things considered, that's not a terrible outcome to what just happened. You could yeah. have easily taken one of those pieces square on your center of mass and then you're just a splat on the wall. Yep. It's the retrofit. It's the retrofit proposal to overhaul this bucket before it breaks apart. Naomi says it'll happen. Take it to the bank. I do like when space machinery is old and run down instead of being like sleek and shiny and everything, you know? Yeah. Seems like a terrifying prospect to be in outer space on like a crappy and broken down vehicle. Definitely it does, yeah. I think there's a reason there are no civilian submarines, you know? Yeah, right. <laughs> Maybe there are. I'm sure there are. People are going to be commenting about how there's civilian submarines. They're not common. Enjoy the ride. Sarah Station, here we come. Hey, XO. All right, I'm coming in, and I don't want to see anything hairy. Airlock doors that you can just open with a pry bar. Sure. Yeah. I wonder how much of the series Jonathan Banks is on. You know what? I just can't figure it out. I hope more than this. It seems like they wouldn't have him just be this one scene. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Too much time in space. Yeah. He his feet in the dirt. Was he saying, I want to go home when he was sobbing right there? Something like that. He said, Yeah, it seemed like he was 
losing it. Less risk, way better reward. Maybe a chance to see Earth again. Just take the badge, man. Yeah, he gets a lot more responsibility, though, you know? Yeah. It's like getting made so, shift manager at your fast food job, you know? So, You're like, yeah. mm, this is a step <laughs> that I'm not sure I want to take. Yeah. Not to disparage anyone whose career is fast food. I don't care about your past. Picked up a mayday. Looks like a light freighter. Call this up the Scott Line. Anyone else in the vicinity? You say we move on and let the good god Darwin sort it out. Goes around, comes around. One of these days it's gonna be us stranded out there. The captain gave an order, people. Purge the logs. We never received that signal. Set the watch and proceed. Jim looks like Jon Snow. We haven't mentioned that this time yet. <laughs> Jim looks like Jon Snow. A less grizzled Jon Snow. Jeez, can you imagine sending a distress signal out in the reaches of space and then seeing that a ship is passing you by and just like leaves? Yeah, but yeah, I mean. Cold, man. It's cold, but it's also space is very big and detouring is very costly. Yeah. Okay, another chance to see what is he doing with these. He's dropping it in a medicine bottle. And then he's drinking it, though. Is that the same? Yeah, weird. Why? Haven't you ever drank matchsticks before, man? It's good. How does hearing a voice say, please help me, change anything? Like, they knew it was yeah. a distress call, right? The question is whether or not it's bait or a legitimate need for help. Yeah. How many times have I told you this calls for tickling? <laughs> Her voice is so familiar. He'll wet himself if you're not careful. People don't tell the truth. It always ends badly. Cool looking architecture in the future. And your fragile beds and bones. All you have to do to make it stop is talk. That little boy has no idea his grandma's a savage. Yeah. <laughs> Brutal. You were carrying contraband stealth technology. What was it for? I wonder if this actor is just a person with long limbs and long proportions, or if he actually has some kind of a bone. Disorder or something like that. I don't know, yeah. his, his fingers and his limbs all look so long. Maybe yeah. they can do that with trick photography. I don't know. Yeah, I was trying to figure that out too. It's if it's an effect, then it's good. <laughs> and this is what happens when you take bribes from the man on the subway. Can you rain yet? He's making fun of his hat. It's not a good hat. It's a lame hat, I was gonna say. <laughs> now we're forced to divert or the firm's legally on the hook. Holden, put a shuttle team together. Naomi, how's the night look? She's one leaky lifeboat. She should be able to manage 50,000 claims in vacuum. All right, then you're on board. <laughs> She's like, oh, come on, man. Right, but she should be thankful because she winds up surviving because she's on that shuttle. See, this is why you couldn't be too upset for a ship not coming to your distress signal in space, because deciding to change where you're going yeah. mid in mid-flight in outer space is a whole undertaking. Like, you really have to know exactly where you want to land before you take off. Yeah, that's true. Changing momentum like that. No air resistance to help slow you down. Just yeah. Space travel is essentially just throwing stuff. <laughs> yeah. It's really, really high level golf. Is what yeah. It is. Oh, the G's in 
involved there. See, and I thought that was, like, damaged the first time, but I guess it seems like that's something that's supposed to happen. Yeah, it's just a... I love the scale of these spaceships, it's just so massive. It's massive and it also just seems like, even though it's all futuristic and stuff, it would just really suck to be on it. It's like, make it just like dingy and kind of like rickety looking and it's definitely not like a luxury ship. The design reminds me of Red Dwarf, I don't know how much of that you've seen, but the British sci-fi comedy oh, yeah, about a mining ship. <laughs> Yeah, I wonder how big this ship actually is. What's her name? I don't remember. I wonder how they get booze if water is so hard to get. She's out of the clock. I feel like alcohol would be super expensive. Yeah. You need water to make it. I mean, you need water to survive, too, and there's people here, you know? So it's... Yeah. They're doing something with the water, but... It is confusing to try and make sense of that situation. Yeah. You want to know what else he's into? It feels like society with such water scarcity would not have much room for leisure activity of any kind like yeah, this. this is like what it would I'm be thinking. all work all the time. She's the richest bachelor in the system. But you know alcohol helps prevent people from uprising and doing all these other things that they can just occupy themselves with whatever. It also helps prevent sickness because it's a sterilizing agent, you know. Yeah, so like point. it does have benefits outside of just social control, you know. Mm -hmm. Go home, Millie. You're drunk. It's definitely the Scopi light. No IR or electromag other than the distress beacon. Looks like the reactor's shut down, but no radiation leaking. What about that thing that looks like a big hole in the side? Uh, Leda says it's a big hole in the side. Well, we came, we looked, we uh, left. No one's gonna know if we set foot on that thing. Maybe we should listen to this guy. <laughs> now it's Guess not. Something nasty's hiding in that ship. You got their weird gravity ladder? Yeah. It seems like a really just terrible idea. Going into a derelict spaceship with a huge with hole in its huge side? Huge hole in the side. Where'd the hole come from? Why is there no power? Why are there no passengers? Let's go in. <laughs> yeah, it's like, let's make a list of possible good outcomes and possible bad outcomes. And see which one is longer. <laughs> Wasn't a torpedo. A breaching charge did that. That's Amos. Engineering first. I want to know why that reactor is offline. We can't be the first ones to say this guy looks like Jon Snow. Oh no, I think it's. We had you with the Cuban. Looks like they're related. Someone went through the shutdown procedures. So if everyone's dead, who turned it off? Six o'clock! Oh god, it's a floating head! Said, we need more eyes in here. Alright, meet us on the bridge. Hey guys. Where are all the bodies at? Amos. Yeah. Cut out the data core, we'll take it with us. Does that look like a... Oh, well, maybe not. If it was a bomb, we'd be toast. It's a transmitter. This must be the beacon that called us. Somebody planted it. Pirate bait. McDowell was right. It's a tiny transmitter. And again, the signal would probably travel really far in space. Yeah. How is that possible? 
So why does the trap not spring until they find... Like, was it them removing it from the thing that springs the trap? Because nobody yeah. showed up when they got to the ship and they're looking around and stuff. But the minute they take that thing off of where it's mounted, suddenly... Yeah. The Martians are coming. Maybe they were on their way. And then they just got into... No, I guess they just popped into view, didn't they? Yeah, I no think uh, it would have to be the... They triggered it by pulling that thing off there. Just don't touch anything. It's a general good rule yeah, of life. Just don't touch anything. Never touch anything ever. Stealth anywhere. Tech. It has to be. They don't have stuff like that. Mars. Yeah, it's just a terribly animated CG bird. But it's a low gravity, it's, terribly it's animated well. CG bird. <laughs> <laughs> Is it well animated? No, I don't. I guess it's hard to know. I mean, it's not terrible, yeah, but it's no. definitely not perfect either. You can't just, it was a mistake. <laughs> That right there seems like it's probably... That would hurt. Yeah. <laughs> thrown face down yep. that distance. Like that's like eight feet or so, right? Yeah. This would suck pretty bad, too. Air is good. Don't you think? Air is nice. Run them now! Lead the torpedoes into the rock. What is your situation? Please advise. Canterbury burnt like hell, you got incoming. It's too late. Oh, so that's why it's the cant. Yep. Canterbury. So it's a sarcastic nickname the crew gives it because they. I, okay. Yeah. Third viewing of it, we got it. <laughs> Stay calm, they just want the cargo. Well, SOS, start negotiations for prisoner release, okay? Just. That's something you should know. What should he know? Uh, well, guess we'll never know. Think anyone survived? It doesn't look like it. I'm not. I mean, I'm not a doctor. But. <laughs> they look pretty vaporized. She's gone. All right. Yeah. A few minor audio hiccups, but I think we got a whole video. Let's double check. <laughs> Hooray! Yay! Hooray! We watched the first episode of The Expanse. What did you think again, Nate? Um. Well, I I loved a I love a lived-in future. I love the sort of uh, grunginess and and dystopian idea of the you know there's still space travel and stuff. It's not you know. It's not Fallout, but yeah. it's, you know, it's definitely like still not fun. It's not Star anyone. Trek either, where yeah, it's like, exactly. we solved society! <laughs> it's a good job, like, no, everyone. We, took, we can explore and have peace. It's, we took all the societal problems and we moved them to outer space. Exactly, you know? You're like, yes, everyone on Earth is prospering. And we don't even know that. I'm sure there's probably still mm, poor people yep. on Earth. Oh, yeah. They could have achieved, like, everyone on Earth is prospering. And we did that by making people who aren't on Earth do our work for us. Mm. Yeah. Seems like so much prosperity is built on making other people do your do. work for you. Yeah. And that's that's, so that's not a good. We are we here at Ketchup Packets, we are against that. <laughs> Bold stance. Yeah. Um what else should we t so yeah, I think them removing that thing from where it was mounted is what actually triggered that ship to come blow up the Canterbury. And I'll say it again. Don't touch anything. Yeah. Never touch anything. If you see something with a with a red blinking light on it, especially, don't touch that. Yeah. Or if you feel like, hmm, I wonder what that is. Don't just don't. take take a photo and Google it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know? Right. You don't need to touch it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's that's the that's the hot tip. Might signal like an attack. 
You never, <laughs> you never know. Um, we got the uh, Tom Jane detective who is uh, torturing people for having the audacity to bribe him. Yeah, so he kind of is complicit in the problem, but then decided he didn't like the problem anymore, and then exactly. attacks the guy who was also complicit in the problem. Says, I'm turning over a new leaf, and I'm doing it by attacking this guy who <laughs> I haven't talked to about my turning over of a new leaf. So yeah, it's uh, that character has some work to do to win me over, personally. Yeah, he's got a, you know, bad cop turned bad cop kind of thing going on. Yeah, and his partner is like the new rookie guy and he's from Earth, so he's like too square for the people on the belt is what Tom Jane was saying, right? He's like, yeah. oh yeah, we they're gonna clock you from Earth from day or right away or something like that. I don't know, something along those lines, but made it seem like that's not uh, street hip to be Earthborn. Yeah, no. And also, you know, just like don't be a narc, man. Yeah, like, that's probably just be cool, bro. It is frustrating that, like, the, you know, policing and police is so ingrained in our culture that, well, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't go down this tangent on YouTube. But Getting political? Just seems like, far in the future, maybe we will have done some reimagining about how societal ills are remedied and how the, the breaking of laws is dealt with. But this is showing us a future where the same systems with their same... I mean, clearly, Brashone Miller is not exactly a good dude. Yeah. He said, no laws on series, just cops, you know? So that seems to be like they haven't done a lot of improving on the way that uh, that societal illness is handled and, and crimes and, you know, people breaking the laws and making bad choices. It seems like instead of working on societal ills and trying to make life better for people, they just worked on technology so they could move all the problems to outer space. Yeah, it's like Which, uh, it's like that movie Wall-E. Yeah. yeah, which I kind of buy it. Yeah, I totally see that. Being it's believable, a just like Absol Wall-E is. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah. So that was our two and a half time through the first episode of The Expanse. We finally made it. Next time we're gonna watch the next one. Yeah, I will also say that uh, it's interesting that they introduced us to the crew like a little bit and gave us like a little taste of their characters and stuff. He had like a love interest and stuff and then they just blew them all up. Yeah, that was, was good dramatic tension. Yeah. Or good dramatic subversion, I should say. You yeah. Know? Like, oh, never mind meeting these people. They're, you know, it's more <laughs> surprising when the ship gets blown up. Yeah, it was a genuine shock. Yeah. Yeah, it was good. I like it so far. Me too. I'm uh, very intrigued. Intrigued to see, see more. where it goes, yeah. All right. And finally watch episode two, mm -hmm. which is going to be great. We're going to do that right now actually so uh you'll see it later but we'll see it in a minute so uh thanks for tuning in i've I, i've been sean i'm nate and this this has been catch up packets <laughs>